The East African Court of Justice will today rule on a petition challenging the decision by Uganda's Supreme Court to uphold a constitutional amendment that removed age limit for presidential candidates elsewhere. United States President Donald Trump and his Democratic challenger Joe Biden fiercely clashed in one of the most chaotic and nasty White House debates witnessed in years. The East African Court of Justice will today rule on a decision by Uganda's Supreme Court to uphold a constitutional amendment that removed the age limit for presidential candidates. The 2017 amendment eliminated the requirement that candidates vying for the presidency be under 75 years of age. It allowed incumbent President Yoweri Museveni, who is over 75 years, to run for a fresh five-year term in the January 2021 general elections. He has been in power since 1986. Lawyer Male Mabirizi went to the East African court based in neighboring Tanzania to challenge the Supreme Court's verdict. Meanwhile, Guinea has closed its borders with Senegal and Guinea-Bissau ahead of the general election for security reasons. Guinea-Bissau's interior minister, Boche Kande, said the border had been closed since Sunday, but his Guinean counterpart did not confirm. Guinea's president, Alpha Kande, is seeking a controversial third term in October 2018 general elections. The president is taking advantage of a new constitution to circumvent a two-term presidential limit. And veteran Ethiopian human rights advocate and political figure Mesfin Wildemariam has died at the age of 90 in the capital Addis Ababa. He had been known as a critical figure in the successive government. Mesfin founded the Ethiopian Human Rights Council, a rights watchdog. He joined the opposition coalition for unity and democracy, CUD, during the disputed election in 2005. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has described him as a champion for peaceful struggle and someone who stood only for what he believed in. Finally, United States President Donald Trump and his Democratic challenger Joe Biden fiercely challenged in one of the most chaotic and rancorous White House debates in years. Amid angry shouting and name-calling, the two fought over the COVID-19 pandemic, White House supremacy and the economy during the 90-minute forum in Cleveland, Ohio on Tuesday night. Overall, the debate was light on policy with little serious discussion or argument over what either candidate will do while in the office. Opinion polls suggest Biden had a steady single-digit lead over Trump. But with 35 days until Election Day, surveys from several important state shows a closer contest. However, polls also suggest one in ten Americans have yet to make up their mind on who to vote for. But analysts say the debate, the first of three, probably will not make much difference in the final outcome.